Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. I want to do this video here today on how to level the bat. Now, I've been teaching leveling now for over 10 years and is, I've had a lot of success with it in the sense of teaching players how to use their lead elbow correctly, how the body should work in an elite swing. Now, I recently saw uh, this particular uh, website or this particular Instagram site where these uh, gentlemen were using this particular drill that I do, but they actually have taken it to another level of trying to demonstrate what leveling is, but in a way that might be even easier for you than a lot of coaches might teach. And I really liked it, so I want to share it with you. And again, like I've been teaching leveling now for many years, and uh, it's just such a great way to just get quick hands, how to use the, the body correctly. Now, what we're going to do here in this particular drill, I drew some lines on the screen, and they're going to make sense to you in a second here. And what I want to explain to you is this, that when you do this drill you want to make sure that when you're when you're doing it that you want to just be at the toe touch position okay so you can see here she's at toe touch right here she has that shoulder to shoulder to elbow look this is Alyssa Del Carlo great hitter here for Georgia softball just beautiful angles a, a slightly bent arm and she has about 60 percent of her height very symmetrical at toe touch just beautiful job so when you do this drill what I need you to do is get to toe touch and what you should be feeling through toe touch throughout this whole drill is just some pullback some resistance okay of the top hand or the back elbow feeling like you're getting like a scapular load okay that's very important okay now once you get to this particular position here what I want you to do is just either grab a, a broomstick or grab a PC pipe or something that's light okay and you want to get it to where it's like you can see here this is an actual bat right here and you can see here that this extension right here is definitely longer than a bat that's why you want to make sure that you're getting something that's pretty light okay so you want to hold the, the, the circle right here these circles right here th this represents where the hands are during this particular stages of the swing. This green thing here represents a tennis ball or a wiffle ball. This red thing here represents a tee, okay? So you want to start off with a tee. Again, start off at toe touch where you're nice, nicely very loaded with shoulder to shoulder to elbow look. You want to have a, again, it's very important for me as a coach. I talk about this. I've talked about this for years. You want to have a shoulder to shoulder to elbow look. In other words, you don't want the back elbow to be down here somewhere, okay? When you do that, especially at toe touch, you're depriving yourself of maximum load, maximum torque, okay? So again, you have this uh, particular uh, broomstick or PC pipe in your hand and then you're at toe touch right now okay and this is again this is would be considered the bottom of the barrel this would be considered the top of the barrel okay right here so this is actually the barrel so you in this particular drill you're actually having two barrels the bottom and the top okay so now what happens next is this okay once you get to this particular position you want to start rotating your hips okay so you can see here in this particular video uh, Alyssa Del Carlo is starting to move now at this particular stage of the swing you can see that her bat has moved a little bit so what, what would be going on if we would have the bat or the broomstick following her swing her now her broomstick would be somewhere down over here okay and then as she continues to swing it's going to get more and more to a point where it's going to get to the bottom of the broomstick to where that wiffle ball is or where the uh, tennis ball would be okay so that's very important to understand now again as she's starting to do this drill you have to understand for this to work correctly in order to level correctly you must be applying pullback you must be applying a very good resistance in order for you to be able to get maximum torque maximum resistance now you can see here as she's starting to swing right now again just like I mentioned if we were to follow the barrel now the barrel would be over here and the broomstick bottom of the broomstick or the PC pipe would be somewhere over here okay so as you're doing this again you're at toe touch and I told you where the barrel is and you can see right now what's going on in this particular stage of a swing now the bottom of the broomstick now okay you can see here it's very obvious where the bottom of the broomstick is it's about to hit or just in contact now with the tennis ball okay so right now what you have here now her hands are here as she's starting to rotate her hips you can see right here that her elbows not quite up to the height of the mouth but she's starting the leveling stage okay just like I I said I've been doing this for years in this uh, site that I saw what they did is they actually did the same drill that I have been doing for years but what they did which was I think is a great drill they went ahead and added a longer extension 
to this particular drill so that what you're doing now, the bat started here pretty much pointing. If you were going to go, here was the barrel, here's the bottom of the barrel or the broomstick, and it's pointing pretty much to the catcher's glove. As she starts to rotate, now you can see that the el lead elbow is starting to work up to the height of the mouth. So what happens is you want the bottom of this broomstick or PC pipe here to go and hit and hit the ball. Okay, it's actually hitting the ball. So what happens from here is as you start to continue to rotate the hips, what should be occurring, well, the more you do this, the better you do this, you should be able to hit it not only with the bottom of the broomstick or the bottom of the barrel, but as you continue to do this, you should be able to hit it not only with the bottom of the barrel, but with the top of the barrel. So basically what you're doing in this T-drill is you're hitting it the first time with the bottom of the barrel, okay? And then what you're doing next is you're going to hit it with the top of the barrels. Now obviously the ball should be gone if you do this correctly right here. The ball should be gone at this stage of the swing because you're hitting it with the bottom of the barrel or the bottom of the broomstick. And then as you start to rotate more and you're leveling correctly with the lead elbow working up to the height of the mouth, now what you're going to do is you're going to be hitting it with the top of the barrel or the bottom or the top of the broomstick, okay? So now as you can see, what's going on here is this, okay? So just in case this, this is not clear for some of you, what's going on right now is this particular bottom of the barrel or, the, or what she's holding went from here to right here where she actually hit this yellow or the, I mean this green uh, wiffle ball or tennis ball and then from there as she gets the elbow working up to the height of the mouth now this particular area now is up here and now the, which would, would be the normal barrel is now hitting the ball a second time okay now again obviously the ball should be gone the first time so you should be hitting this ball the first time with the bottom of the broomstick and then you should be hitting it with the uh, top of the broomstick as the lead elbow works up to the height of the mouth now you're hitting it like this now this is again what I call a leveling drill but this like I mentioned to you I can't take the credit for this particular drill with this particular PC pipe or broomstick because I did not think of it so I'm just giving credit to someone else for that but I have been doing this leveling drill for years and it works great and like I said this particular uh, hitting company or hitting organization they actually came up with this which I think is a very good very good uh, for uh, any player to be able to uh, visualize more in detail what should be occurring so again so we have a setup here at toe touch okay the top of the barrel well, would be the normal bat and then this would be the extension as you start to rotate this is going to eventually hit it from here and then it's going to rotate now it's going to be up here and you're going to actually be hitting it with which would be the top of the broomstick at toe touch or the actual barrel and then from here what you can do is just continue to work it now what I recommend, and like in those of you who have, have purchased my Build Your Swing Plan, and those of you who uh, know the way I work, I, I scaffold everything. I'm always working with students piece by piece. If you buy my Build Your Swing Plan, it's a great video for any player to build their swing in a very slow and methodical manner. Now, with this particular drill, you want to start off with the T, just like I do in my Build Your Swing Plan, and then from there, you want to start off with, uh, if you uh, want to start off with some soft toss, and then from there, you can go to live pitching and but I would highly recommend to always start off at toe touch and then from toe touch just like I said from there you just want to work from toe touch hitting ball so when people are pitching balls to you you want to make sure that you're hitting balls at first just from toe touch and just working that barrel the way I said it's just really quick leveling up leveling that bat and again like I said this particular uh, uh, baseball site they're actually taking it to another level now where they're hitting the bat or hitting the ball and their bat it would be like with my leveling I normally what I would indicate is just let the elbow work up to the height of the mouth but with the, with this other baseball uh, uh, site they're actually getting it to where this particular part is hitting it as you start to rotate and then you're also hitting it with the lower with the uh, which would actually be the barrel so you're actually getting double reinforcement okay so again 
Uh, everything you do you should always build your swing gradually. You should always make sure you master one stage at a time. And then from there you can go to your actual swing where all you're now is just thinking about how the body should be working. And this is the purpose of any drill is to try to get the feeling, okay, get the feeling of what you should be doing so that your body can execute it in a high pressure situation. And again, when I was, uh, and I have and I still do teach leveling, it helps a lot of players to understand understand how the hand should work. It helps you to stay connected, but it's crucial that you apply that resistance. It's crucial that you understand that the pullback, the resistance must be applied throughout the whole swing. Eventually the lower body takes over, but when you level, just like if you've been watching my videos for years, I always talk about that lead elbow working up to the height of the mouth. That is what leveling is. This is what gets that, that with the resistance keeps you connected. The bat works around the corner of the deltoid and it just literally is just such a quick hands to the ball. Now I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching my channel. If you have any questions please feel free to email me. I'm always grateful to all the great coaches out there with great drills. I try to share any drill that I think that's a, 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 any drill value. I, 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 whenever I see something out there that I think can help my audience I love sharing it because I, my, my goal is to just to help people whoever's watching my channel just to learn and get better and better and hopefully you don't have to pay for lessons and you can just uh, watch the these videos for free and if you ever want any further detail and um, and really get into great detail then you can purchase my build your swing plan and uh, I really believe that it will help you to take your swing to another level now if you purchase it you get free bonus videos free consultations and if you like this channel please subscribe to it tell your friends about it give me a like if you learn something give me a like if you enjoy my channel and I'm always so grateful for your viewership you have a great day and God bless everyone